Hi everybody, Joel Carlson here of Faces of Minnesota. Today my guest is Matt Brickman of WCCO Weather. He is a meteorologist. He also handles a, the co-host responsibilities for the Saturday morning show. So we look forward to talking to him and learning more about him. Uh, not only what he does at work, but his life outside of work. So the first question we're going to ask Matt is this. Matt, please tell us, where did you grow up? And tell us what kind of things interest you while you were growing up that maybe led you to be interested in the news and also weather reporting. All right, so I grew up in, in New England. My dad's from outside of Boston. My mom's from Connecticut. So up until 13, I lived in Connecticut. Then we moved to New Jersey, moved to Illinois, and I moved to Minnesota uh, last August. Now, I think most meteorologists that you talk to would tell you about some big storm from their childhood that inspired them to be a meteorologist. That wasn't the case for me. I didn't figure this out until much, much later. Actually, not until I started my professional career. Um, I went to undergrad at the University of Illinois and say broadcast journalism, just kind of a news background there. I uh, got my first job and after a year or so I was getting ready to leave to go on my honeymoon and take a couple of weeks off and my news director pulled me into her office and uh, said, Matt, what do you think about the weather? And I was like, well, I guess if I can do that and do news and fill in on sports then you can't fire me, so I'll give weather a try. And uh, I did it for uh, a couple of weeks when I came back and I loved it and I said this is what I want to do. So I uh, went and uh, started studying meteorology at uh, Mississippi State. Alright, now where did you uh, first start college and what were you, was your major focus of studies there? Uh, my major was broadcast journalism at the University of Illinois, which is where actually I, I met my wife. She was also a broadcast journalism student and uh, we met in a poli-sci 101 class. And we weren't paying attention, and we were just doing crosswords in the back row. So a good education and pay, paying for your education and learning a lot along the way, right? Yeah, thank, thanks mom and dad for that. <laughs> um, so how did you get your start in television? What was your first job? I assume as an intern somewhere? Yeah, oh gosh. Nothing leaves the internet, right? So this is probably still out there. Uh, my first job ever was actually hosting a music video show oh. my sophomore year of college. Uh, it was called Video Diner and it was on the local PBS affiliate. Um, when I got to school, um, I knew that I wanted to try to get my finger in as many pies as I could to get that experience. So um, PBS was hiring. I started there working on the show, picking out music videos. Uh, and after a year and a half of doing that, they let me host a couple of episodes. Um, so that was the first time I was ever on TV, and uh, it wasn't very good. However, the one highlight of that, I will say, is I went into a bar my junior year, and the bartender recognized me from that show and offered to buy me a drink. And I think to this day, that is like my high point of celebrity <laughs> in my career. College bartender recognized me from a music video show. So when did you, you kind of touched on it, when did you start getting uh, roles as far as covering the weather? Yeah, so that was uh, after a year in, in TV, um, I, forget, I think our, our weekend person must have left and I'd been doing a, a bunch of other stuff. I actually started in TV as an overnight producer while I was still a senior in college. I'd work 11 p.m. to 8 a.m., go to classes, and then come back and do it again and again. I did this for two or three months at the end of my senior year. When I finished that, I started doing reporting and producing the weekends. I did that for about a year, and then uh, after doing various film things, my news director asked me to try weather. So I'm 22 at this point. Um, and I started doing weekends, and I, I must have done well on that, because after um, maybe six to nine months doing that, they offered me the morning show job, and I did that for about three years in Champaign, which I absolutely love. Mor morning television is my bread and butter. I don't mind the hours. I don't mind getting up at 2 a.m. I just absolutely love it. Yeah, there's a different flavor to morning news as opposed to the evening news, for sure. Yeah, very much. A little lighthearted. Yeah, lighthearted. You can have some fun, you can have some personality, and there's, there's more time to kind of let things breathe. Right. Now, when did you get your first start here with WCCO? I got hired at the end of August of last year, so I just had my eight-month anniversary uh, a couple of weeks ago. Okay. 
So, in addition to weather, what, what are your assignments as far as your responsibilities here at CCO? Uh, so I do. I do weather Saturday and Sunday mornings, and then Wednesday through Thursday, I'm kind of a general assignment reporter, kind of what they need me to do. Uh, one of those days, I'll work on my Best in Minnesota series, uh, which we've been doing since September. We've got to travel all across the state for that. Um, and, I mean, you're not going to see me out covering a fire or a triple homicide or something like that. That's, that's not me. But if there are lighter feature stories, if there are weather-related stories, um, they're happy to put me on those, and I'm happy to do them. Now, a question from someone you know pretty well, Katie Brickman. <laughs> she wants to know from you, what's your favorite Best of Minnesota segment that you've done so far? Because you've done a number. I've done, I've done a lot of good ones. I really like the ones where I get to travel. Um, so we drove two and a half hours to Winona to get donuts. Oh, that's right. That one was a lot of fun. Um, Kate and I actually did one together where we drove to Victoria for the best Bloody Mary. Um, that was fun to actually get to do it with her. And then I've actually got to do a couple with my dog, a couple with my nieces. There, there have been um, a lot of really fun ones so far. Never a bad one yet.